Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? The NES Classic has proven very popular, but why is it so hard to get your hands on one? So this is the morning of the launch of the NES Classic. I got up very early and managed to score one at the store. You can consider this kind of a little extra bonus podcast episode. Uh, I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about this guy and its availability, or rather lack of availability. To tell you the story really quickly, I got up very early and managed to get to a store right as it opened at 6 a.m. to pick one of them up. Um, there were a few people in line already outside the store before it opened, and there weren't too many people though. The door, the, you know, the doors opened, the store opened. Um, everyone kind of, you know, walked in casually. Um, there wasn't any sort of mad dash, and we all got back to the electronics counter. And some employees were kind of milling around and they saw all these people come walking back there and they were confused. They didn't quite know what was going on. And they were asking, yeah, okay, so, you know, like, did something come out? They had no idea. Um, they, you know, we told them, oh, yeah, we're here for this NES Classic thing. You know, you're, you're supposed to have it today. Um, and they were like, oh, well, I guess we'll go look. Total confusion ensued. They had to go like find a manager. The manager had to go to the back, dig around for the box of the NES Classics. Uh, came back out after about 15 minutes with this box and he said, yeah, it looks like we only got six. They only got six NES Classics on launch day for the entire store. Uh, we had all kind of casually lined up at the counter at that point, the checkout counter. Uh, and thankfully, I was the last one of, you know, the six. I was the sixth person in line. Uh, he did mention, you know, let's just kind of be nice and only do one per person um, instead of, you know, letting the first person in line buy all six. Um, so I, I managed to score basically the last one that that star got on launch day. And that seems to be a common story that I've been hearing from other people and from other chains as well. Um, I, I know somebody who works at a GameStop and he said that even they didn't know how many that they were gonna get, but it sounded like single digits. It sounds like that's probably the case for a lot of other retail chains too, is that they got a very small number of these. And that leads to the question of why? You know, why, why is availability on something so simple like this, limited. And I think there's a couple of reasons. First, I do think Nintendo maybe underestimated the demand for the product. Um, even though they you know, announced it several months prior, I think perhaps they, they wanted to play it safe and rather underproduce them than overproduce them, right? As a company, you would rather sell out of stock than have extra stock sitting on the shelf, which means it's sitting on your books, which means you may end up at a point where you have to write it off in the future, which means you lose some money. So part of me thinks, considering the, the kind of financial straits that Nintendo is in, they wanted to play it safe and at least sell everything they produced so that they didn't end up making things worse for themselves. The other thing I think, and this is probably a little bit bigger, is there's a marketing angle to having supplies be limited. And it, it kind of plays on the psychology of people and their desire for a thing, you know, the, the limiting product and, and artificial scarcity is actually fairly common. And I think that potentially could be the same thing going on with the classic is that Nintendo wanted to keep demand for it high artificially. And they did so by simply limiting how many they made so that you end up with the headlines of NES Classic sells out on launch day. To the casual observer, 
you're going to look at a headline like that and think, well, dang, that must be like a really popular, good, cool thing. It's sold out. You know, it's not like they're sitting on the shelves and nobody wants them. And I think Nintendo's kind of done this before, like with the original Wii. I, I, you know, the, the original Wii was a very popular product in its own right, legitimately. No doubt for the same reasons that this thing is a very popular product in its own right, legitimately. But the Wii was hard to find for a couple of years. And at the beginning, I have suspicions that that was actually due to artificial limitations on production to try and get people to think, wow, this is actually a really cool, you know, new thing. And if it sells out, people are going to want it even more. You know, you want what you can't have. And coming out of the GameCube era where Nintendo wasn't doing so hot financially, they needed something like that with the Wii to help, you know, boost their sales. I think they're just kind of playing the same thing again. Especially considering that this is coming out right around the, the start of the holiday shopping season in late 2016. And Nintendo doesn't have a big major console to sell. In fact, they're stopping production on the Wii U. You know, that we're at the tail end of that product. Switch isn't going to come out till early 2017. So they need something to drive sales through the holiday season. And aside from a big price drop on the 3DS... This is it. This is what's going to make Nintendo money through the holiday season, which for any company, holiday sales are very important. So I suspect we will continue to see shipments of the NES Classic through the holidays, even through the beginning of 2017. Availability will get better. If you didn't get one on launch day, just hang in there. Chances are you will be able to get one in time for the holidays. Um, but don't expect to get one within the first week or two. I don't think we're going to see, you know, a week after launch, suddenly they're sitting on the shelves, tons of them readily available. You can just go pick one up. I think it's going to be, you're going to have to watch and see when do stores get shipments, try to get in line, try to get one. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have you gotten one and do you like it? Do you hate it? I'm just curious. Um, I actually have already taken it out of the packaging, but I haven't played it yet. Um, like I'm literally shooting this about an hour and a half after managing to get it from the store. Um, so I, I still have yet to hook it up. But uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me Twitter and Instagram at thisdoesnotcomp. And as always... Thanks for watching.